the story time with Casey. Today I'm reading The Gruffalo's Child. I'm going to open the book. The Gruffalo said that no Gruffalo should ever set foot in the deep, dark wood. It's night time. Why not? Oh, that's the Gruffalo's Child asking. The bigger girl. Why not? Why not? Because if you do, the big bad mouse will be after you. I met him once at the girl. I met him a long, long time ago. What does he look like? Tell us, Dad. Is he terribly big and terribly bad? Let's see. Let's see. I can't quite remember, the girl said. They thought for a minute and scratched his head. Big Ben Mouse is terribly strong, and his scaly tail is terribly... Oh, I'm going to show you the picture! <laughs> so, sitting down on the stop, and he's asking, and he's telling him with his eyes closed. He's sitting down still. Yeah, now he's doing the same thing with his eyes open. He's still listening. The grand first child... Over here and here is the same. Is asking, is listening to the Gruffalo. His eyes are orange. I mean, his eyes are like pools of terrible fire. And his terrible whiskers are tougher than wire. <laughs> Once now I'm hoping Gruffalo snore the Gruffalo's child. Just feeling poor. Oh! Not the picture again! <gasps> yep, another picture. Next page. Once now I'm hoping the Gruffalo's child. When the Gruffalo snored, the Gruffalo's child was feeling poor. The Gruffalo's child was feeling brave. So she. So it's a girl. So she tiptoed out of the Gruffalo's cave. So fell fast, and the wind blew wild into the woods with the Gruffalo's child. And her dad told her not to. What's going to happen? There's, there are the same people in, like the Gruffalo, which I read, which, which I read last time. Uh, okay, it's not here. Okay, it's not in my bed. It's like somewhere. Okay, it's not here. And the snake, the gruffalo, and the owl, and the fox are all in this story, in this story too. But there's one different character. The gruffalo's child, that wasn't in the other one. Aha! Oh! A track, a trail in the snow. Whose is this trail and where does it go? I poked out of a log pile house. Could this be the tail? Big bad mouse. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the pictures. He's bumped, trying to the track. He sees a tail in the log pile house of the snake. Out slid the wait. Out slid the creature. His eyes were small. And he didn't have whiskers, no, not at all. You have the most not ask the snake. He's down by the lake eating Gruffalo cake. The snow fell fast and the wind blew wild. I'm not scared, said the Gruffalo's child. He's telling the snake that he's not the mouse, the big bad mouse. He's going, uh, I mean, this is a girl. She's going under this tree that fell down. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, mugs in the snow. Whose are these claw mugs? Where did they go? The eyes gleamed out of the tree top house. Could these be the eyes of the big Ben mouse? Yeah, they're orange. Orange, but this is the owl. He's walking. She's walking, following the footprints here. And looking up at the owl's face. But it, and it is orange eyes like the mouse, but... Um, it's not the mouse. Mm -mm. I don't think it's the mouse. And it's 
sat down, for the creature's tail was short. It didn't have whiskers of any sort. You're not the mouse, to who not I, but he's somewhere nearby. He can go for a pot and snuffle fast and the wind be wild. I'm not scared, said the buffalo's child. She's walking through the woods. She, she's talking to the owl. Uh -huh. Oh, a track in the snow. They look like little baby footprints, but they're not. Who's is the track? And where does it go? Whiskers at last in an underground house. This be the home of the big bad mouse. I don't think so. I think that's a fox. Oh, some of the creature's eyes weren't fiery. His tail wasn't scaly. His whiskers went wild. He had the mouse. Oh no, not me. He's under a tree. Drinking gruffle tea. It's all a trick, said the gruffle child. As she sat on a stump with the snow lay piled. I don't believe in the big bad mouse. Here it is. But here comes a little one out of his house. Not big, not bad, but a mouse at least. He'll taste good as a midnight feast. So it's midnight, I guess. Here, I guess. Maybe. What? He was like up into the middle of the night, but he has to walk home too, laying away. Back to his home because. Well, just listen and you'll find out. Why he's scared? Wait to the mess before you eat. There's a friend of mine that you want to meet. If you'll let me hop onto a hazel tree. Wake all back on my friend so bad and big. The first child on which to fist. The big bad mess, so he does it. Wait, did I quite show you a picture here? Okay, I had it. The mouse hopped into the hazel tree. Back and then said, just wait and see. So he's grabbing the mouse on his tail. He's lucky enough. The mouse. Out came the moon. It was bright and round. Terrible shadow fell onto the ground. Who is this creature so big, bad, and strong? His tail and whiskers are terribly long. His eye knows an overshot. He carries it not as big as, as a boulder. It's just the mouse's shadow with the, the tiny, tiny mouse's with the moon behind it. The big bad mouse, yelled the gruffalo shot. The mouse jumped down from the twig and smiled. Ah, aha. Who's in these footprints? Where did they go? They're the girl for those the mouse wants to know. Oh, I've got to show you a picture. So here's the picture. He's running away. He sees the girl for those child's footprints. And the footprints led to the girl cave. The girl for those child was a bit less brave. The girl for those child was a bit less poor. He's following them to the cave over here. He's coming in. He's lying down with his back. And the gruffalo snored and snored and snored. Now they now look, they're sleeping. And I have a book that I'm going to read next time that I want to show you. Wait. <laughs> I think I'm either going to read this one. It's called The Heart and the Bottle. Or one, or one from the bookcase under my bed. Bye. Thanks for listening.